Hey guys, so I am back with another video for you. Today I decided to film you a makeup tutorial based on this look right here. Um, it's going to be a talk through video. This is my first like non first impressions video I guess that I have filmed that is completely talk through and I kind of liked doing it believe it or not. Surprising, I know. But I did use my new baby, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Tamana palette. Um, my older sister got it for me for Christmas. Thank you, Liliana. You are awesome. I love you. Um, but yeah, I use quite a few of these eyeshadows along with a couple of other products. But overall, I really liked filming the video. So if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. As always, all the products that I'm going to be using are in are going to be in the description box below, but um, any other comments, requests for videos, leave that down there as well, and I'll always get back to you. Um, but yeah, just click down there, um, links are down there, etc, 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 I'm getting boring, I get it. Anyway, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Going to use is something that I bought recently. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Oil Free Pore Minimizing Primer. Well then, isn't that a treat? I used it yesterday under my makeup and I really liked it. So, apparently I've been going on like a primer hunt. This is the time of year to find primers and see if they work. Because I have like, I don't know what type of skin I have it's not oily that's for, I mean it's not super oily like I guess it's shiny if that's even a category is it a category I think so but anything that's oil free and pore minimizing sign me up so I'm just gonna be putting this all over my face my older sister was so nice enough to purchase me the Tamana Paul Tamana Tamana Somebody correct me, I feel bad for butchering her name because she is awesome, aka Dress Your Face on Instagram. She is a celebrity makeup artist and she is thebomb.com. So she got me her um, she got me her palette for Christmas, which I'm super excited about. But I wanted this one because I had looked at all of the single eyeshadows and the videos that are already done on all of them. And long story short, the majority of the colors that I want are already conveniently in this palette so super happy and all of the other ones I can't even track down like the Amrizi palette and the Mayamiya palette the lavish palette like I cannot find any of them anymore which I'm so sad about but the show must go on so I'm gonna be prepping my eyelids with my oh just dropped it my MAC soft ochre paint pot and I'm just gonna be putting that all over my eyes By the way, if you hear crickets in the background, the one day that I decided to film my entire family's home. So I'm making them be quiet. Ha 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 ha. So I'm gonna go into my Tamana palette first. I'm so excited. I've already used this a couple of times and I've really liked it. But I'm gonna use Bengal. Bengal. And fun fact of the day, I actually Googled how to pronounce this and it is Bengal. So. For all of you people that didn't know how to pronounce it, that, you know, there you go. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I just told you how to pronounce it. And I am going to be taking it on my Crown C412 uh, pointed crease brush. I love this crease brush. It is awesome. So the next thing I'm going to take is the shade Chocolate, and it's the one right beside it, and it's literally, it looks like chocolate. Looks like chocolate, makes me want to eat it. I won't eat it, I promise. But I'm going to be taking that on a MAC 217 brush. But I was looking at all of her. I'm God is shining down on me with this ray of sunshine right now. Okay, good. Okay, so I repositioned. Let's hope no more rays of sunshine shine down on me. But as I was saying, what was I saying? I don't even know. Uh, um, 
not only am I obsessed with this palette, but I'm obsessed with Tamana as well. And what I did was I went through her Instagram and I took through like all of the looks that I like from her. And I think I'm going to do like a Tamana series where I pick out three looks that I like of her and I attempt to recreate them. And yeah, so let me know what you guys think about that because that will be cool. This looks a little bit scary. I'm going to be taking my MAC pigment in Melon. And this one's another fun little find because I actually went to MAC, was passing by yesterday, and I was like, oh, look, I haven't been here since Boxing Day. So I decided to go pick something up. And they have like all of the, um, not all of them, select pigments that come in half the size, but they're half the price. And I'm like so happy about it because I was looking at Melon and I fell in love with it, but I'm like, when am I ever going to use an entire tub of this? So, I'm so happy I looked back at that. I don't know if I'm going to need Fix Plus with this first, or nah. But I'm just going to work it on my lid with a synthetic brush. This one is a Bobbi Brown Cream Shadow Brush. with my C412 brush and just blend out the harsh edges, harsh lines, you don't want any of those, nobody can rock that look. I'm going to take China Rose right here and I think I'm just going to put that over that melon color because it is actually fairly similar. I think it's just a little more pink but yellow. Ooh, I like, I like, I like. Melon actually kind of puts it kind of, it adds the gold to it, and then the china rose adds the pink to it. So it's like a nice little pink gold color. I'm liking this a lot. So now I'm going to possibly do a winged eyeliner. And put on my false eyelashes, and I will be right back. Okay, so I am back. I decided to put on my velour lashes, and you complete me. These ones are... Not my favorite, but they're really nice. They're kind of like simple on the inside and then they flare out on the outside. So they are fairly natural looking. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take from my little Makeup Forever quad. I showed this in my last video, a couple videos ago. I showed it in my holiday hair and makeup video. But, so what the deal at Makeup Forever is that you can get one shadow for $25, two for $36, or three for $50. And because I had a Sephora gift card that one of my coworkers, Vanessa, gave me, Vanessa, you are my girl, thank you for paying for my eyeshadow. But, um, I picked out these three, and they're three shadows that work out very nicely. Like, I could do a look with these three, they're very versatile. Apparently, Jaclyn Hill talked about this one, and it is the M. 608 so I'm gonna be using that I'm just gonna use that to darken up the outer corners of my eye I'll be taking my tried and true L'Oreal true match foundation I want to pump a couple of pumps of that on my face oh no on my hand to put on my face get what I mean do you like these do you guys like these videos where I'm talking? It's kind of like doing them. It's like I'm talking to myself. It's great. It's fantastic. I wish you guys could answer me. my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC30 and I'm just going to pump a pump on my finger. I'm still amazed at how little product I need for this and how good it is. How, how great are you? You are great. Just 
to evenly distribute the highlight. Go in with my MAC Prep and Prime Pen in Light Boost, and this one's the yellow undertone one that it makes your face look like. Big highlighted mess on hot mess, but you got my point. So now that I am an Indian tribe, I don't know whether I'm in focus or not. Am I in focus right now? Yes. And then I'm just going to blend that out with the beauty blender. And I know I actually got a question from one of you. They're like, well, if you're pale, why are you highlighting your face? And it's like, well, it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that you're pale. I can be translucent and still want to highlight my face. It's not the color that you are. You still want to attract light to the highest points of your face because it's just more flattering. I mean, if you don't feel like highlighting at all, then just skip over this part of the video, but I love it. Oh, I love it. I don't know how I did, uh, how I used to do my makeup before I started highlighting my face. So I'm just going to set my concealer and I'm going to do so with my Anastasia Beverly Hills powder in banana. Banana powder, banana powder. Also, my older sister, along with the Tamana palette, she also got me refills of banana for Christmas. Thanks, Lena, you the best. I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Sandstorm. So, set my face. So next, I'm going to take this angled brush and I'm going to take a little bit of chocolate from the Tamana palette and I'm going to run it along my lash line as best as I can without blinding myself because I tend to do that a lot. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush. This one is the Kiko Eyes 207 brush and I'm going to take Bengal and smoke out that lash line. So next I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder in Fawn. This one is my favorite. Um, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that. Put it in over here. I don't know how people on YouTube like can actually like do this properly. I'm really bad at it. But I'm going to just carve out my cheekbones. Don't you take your eyes off of me. And then just to bronze up the face a bit, I'm going to take my MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium Dark. I am, however, going to go buy a shade darker than this. Just because in the summertime, this is going to be a really good setting powder for me. Because I will get this color eventually, believe it or not. But for now, because I'm really pale, I just kind of use it as a bronzer. But, I'm going to need a darker color because I get really dark in the summer. For blush, I'm going to be using my Becca Mineral Blush in Damselfly. I talked about this guy in my haul video as well. Once again, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. And then I'm going to take it on this BH Cosmetics Duo Fiber Brush. Just like slightly dip it in because this thing is like hella pigmented. Well, I actually like how it applies with the duo fiber brush. I don't think you can really see it on camera, but it looks nice. And then last but not least, I'm going to take my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. And I got this one after I got Moonstone, and I kind of regret getting Moonstone because I love this one. This one is so much nicer. It's really, like, it's, it's, I don't know how to explain it. I just don't. It's beautiful. Like, what is my life? What is my life? It just like adds the nicest glow to your face. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Daringly Nude. 
No lip liner, I'm just gonna go straight for it. <laughs> and this is the finished look. Anyway, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, let me know what other videos you guys want to see down in the comment box. And as always, all of the other products that I have used in the video with their links. I'm going to try linking pretty much all of them so you guys can get them online and stuff. You know, it just makes everybody's life easier. But everything is going to be in the description box as always. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, an amazing week. I love you. Thank you for your support all the time. And I will talk to you guys in my next one.